do well with it to grow those businesses. The certificate program at UW is, uh, is pretty uh, comprehensive in that you're, you're not only learning all the digital channels and, and how to use those digital channels, but you're also learning the skills and the tools that you need to know in order to make them work and make them work well as far as measurement and understanding how to do it better. And just as UX designs have been tested for usability, code has been reviewed and improved. So the code that makes it into the library is tight and fast. The style guides, pattern library, and component library comprise the design system. As for the library you use for your design system, it'll depend on your front-end technology stack. But in my work, I focus on the concept of biology as computation. And that means asking what do cells compute? And how can we uncover these biological programs? When we think about the problems and solutions of climate change, it really needs a sort of fundamental rethink about how we live with the planet. If you conceive of the planet as a sort of finite set of resources that those with the power and technology can exploit for their own gain, then, then that's a difficult place to start. The Arctic is the complete opposite of that. People are an integrated part of the ecosystem. They're part of a living world and just one small, humble part of it. This translates to the aesthetics of art itself. Throughout this museum, you see these big marble monuments, iconoclastic objects of power. But the value of what art means in the far north is completely different. So this fish skin bag, translucent, ethereal, created in the 19th century, captures this understanding that when you take an object, the value and beauty of its creation is how you respect the environment from which it came. And simply not a moment to escape. For the moment, I must concentrate on taking aim as I adjust my helmet and haversack and mount the firing step. We'll look at tools that can help you compare uh, uh, dissimilar units in your organization. Maybe get a sense of who's using resources effectively and who can maybe benefit from some what others have learned uh, uh, in that regard. I think we conclude with a, a little study of weighting, something that we're all quite uh, proficient at, it seems. Um, so that's pretty much the, the, the roadmap of where we're going. Uh, I, it's, it's one of my, my favorite, favorite subjects, subjects. Uh, uh, I, like I like it a lot, lot. and I hope, I hope by the by end of this, this uh, you, uh, you, uh, you do, do as well. There's, there's been a lot of investment, and it's worth, you know, very big numbers, 19 trillion perhaps in just another five years or so. So I don't think there's any argument that this is a massive opportunity, not just from a marketing perspective, but from a broader business perspective. But, but one, one of the things that's really been interesting to us, to us is the cons current instantiation of the consumer, consumer internet, internet of things is the smart, smart home. home. And, if and if you start, start to look at the smart, smart home, home, you see there's, there's a, a lot, lot of hype, hype but there's, there's not, not a lot, lot of action. Of action. Watch, Watch the walk. The walk. How, do How do people behave? behave? What, what do people, people choose, choose to do? If someone has violated the statement of ethics, of ethics or, the, or code the code of conduct, of conduct what, what happens, happens to them? them? If the if answer, answer is, is nothing, nothing, then nobody believes, believes the code of conduct, conduct is real. This, this is one a long, long time ago, ago but remember Enron? Enron? Remember, Enron? remember Enron? Enron? Shocking, Shocking lapse, lapse of, ethics. of ethics. I knew the people, I knew the people at Enron. Enron. I, knew I knew their board, board members. members. Here's my, Here's my sense, sense of what happened at Enron. Enron had, had lots of pressure, of pressure on, the on the stock price, and, and they, had they had their statement of ethics. Of ethics. I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody set, set out to defraud anybody. anybody. Just, like Just like I don't, I don't think, think people in Wall Street, Street set, set out to crash, crash the, the financial, financial system. system. Thank you, Vice President Biden, and we are truly grateful for your leadership and for your continued strong support of our nation's public safety officers. It is now my honor to confer the Public Safety Officer Medal of Valor on our honorees. I'll read the first citation, then ask that that recipient come forward to receive the medal and certificate. Then I will do the same for the remaining recipients. In the case of our fallen honorees, I'll ask that their family members or agency representatives accepting on their behalf come forward. 
will first confer the 2011-2012 medals, then the 2012 to 2013 medals. The first recipient of the 2011-2012 Medal of Valor is Sergeant Nathan Hutchinson of the Weber County Sheriff's Office in Ogden, Utah. The conceit in your brain of thinking actually shuts down for a short period of time. This is profound information and will confirm your brain is built for genius. But if you don't do the right things, you're not going to be able to allow the genius to see the light of day. I've spent citizenship. While others are forced to seek asylum for their survival. Being a global citizen is also about the strong and the wealthy helping the weak and the poor. As we saw with the Global Citizen Tax Initiative. Border disputes, conflict zones, armed borders. These are things that persist and need to be addressed. I started to sequence the DNA, but ultimately I set out to preserve the story through these copper plate etchings and letterpress descriptions to tell the story of the George IV peach, which took root between two buildings in New York City. Someone walks by, tastes it. It becomes a major commercial variety in the 19th century because it tastes just that good. Then, then all but all vanishes, but vanishes because, because it doesn't, doesn't ship well, well and it doesn't, doesn't conform, conform to modern, modern agriculture. agriculture. So countries, so countries are, under, are pressure under pressure to change their laws. Their laws. Greece, Greece, Iceland, Iceland and Sweden, Sweden changed theirs, theirs in the last, in the two, last years. two years. Here, Here sex, sex without, without consent, consent is, is now rape. rape. It used to be the woman who had to prove that she had not given consent or that she was raped. And today, and today it's the perpetrator who actually had more, more or less to, to explain, explain how, how he got, got a consent. consent. So what, so what difference has this made? made? You uh, have, have, I think, at, I at think least six or seven, seven cases, cases now in Sweden, cases, cases, cases that would not have been considered rape, rape before. before. We, we talk a lot more about, about rape, rape as, uh, as a criminal act, act. And, it's and it's easier, easier to, explain to explain today what a rape actually is. The prehistory of Britain, beginning about 10,000 years ago, after the last Ice Age, when people from continental Europe colonized this land, is barely known. There have been archaeological discoveries and consequent speculation, but these are not history. History means recorded history, history written down, and we do not really have any of that until the middle of the first century BC in the conquest of Gaul. A book written by Julius Caesar, who made two unsuccessful invasions of southern Britain in 55 and 54 BC. Today is my 89th birthday, and to my very considerable surprise, I find myself in a place uh, that I've never been to before, and which it is a great, great privilege to visit. The White House. Mr. President, it is a great honor. It is my honor. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Come on, baby. I grew up on some of your programming. Really? And of course. And the, uh, you know, I, since I grew up in Hawaii, um, you know, I had a natural affinity for the outdoors and, and an appreciation for Oh, yes. Well, so debate still, still exists on calling them non-living. Non Unlike, Unlike bacteria, bacteria viruses, viruses are not prokaryotes. Are not prokaryotes. Viruses, viruses don't even don't consist even of cells. cells. But, viruses but viruses do have do genetic, genetic material, material, DNA, DNA or, or RNA. RNA.